Good afternoon, everyone. This is a short video review of the Nermac portable battery box. So I've been waiting to get something like this for fishing and not just for fishing, but for uh, camping and long road trips and stuff like that. Uh, this thing will serve many, many purposes. So here's a side view. Now, most of the good stuff that, well, I consider good stuff happens up top. So I'm going to Get a different angle now as with most digital things when you're recording it especially with like a, with an iPhone the display is probably gonna look like it's going crazy by blinking and doing all kinds of crazy stuff but um, right now all it is saying it's at 13.4 volts uh, what I have in here is a 12 volt lithium uh, or lipo battery um, I use it for my fish finder my electric trolling motor charge phones charge flashlights lanterns you name it so what I really like about this is that it has these two Anderson connectors that have a built-in fuse um, and this is the breaker right here if it uh, gets a surge or something it'll shut off and then you just reset it by turning it back on. Um, so these, I will get the matching connectors for my trolling motor. Uh, and maybe one for the fish finder. I don't need this much, this thick a wire for that. But I'll at least definitely get um, this type of connector. The Anderson connector for my 40-pound uh, thrust electric trolling motor. So I could just plug it right into that. And... Um, uh, be powered underway. Anyway, this is a USB-A and a USB-C port for charging things uh, or powering things. And that has its own uh, meter as well. Now that one actually is reading 13.1 and this one's 13.4. But we're going to test. Um, I have my voltmeter here and I'm going to turn the backlight on Let's see if that makes it easier to see and then I'm going to put uh, these in the plugs here remember this this 13.4 this is 13.1 so let's see what the voltmeter says 13.37 let's check this other one make sure the connections are good 13.37 and then there are also positive and negative terminals here and you could take these little rubber caps off loosen the wing nut and then put something on here but on the inside that the, these are where all the these devices are hooked into so um, if you don't need to then that's fine but you could like I said you could charge and uh, power things the USB a and the USB C the cigarette plug right there which you could put another plug in there that has more USB chargers or whatever uh, so what else about this box uh, you have to look at the description to see if it will fit the battery size that you have this is a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery and i'm going to actually lower this back down just a little bit it does have a strong handle So here is the underside where everything is all wired up, nice and clean. And then all you have to do is hook up your battery, the negative and the positive. That's it. And it does have two little snaps, one on either side right here. We're closing that to keep the lid on 
Sturdy enough to pick that up. It also does come with a nylon strap. So you can strap it down to the battery compartment in your boat. And the little brackets, if you want to screw those down to onto something and then use this strap right here to buckle it down. Or if you wanted, you might be able to fit this buckle of this thing all the way around and then secure it that way for a little extra strength. But um, let me see if I could take this out and you can get a better look at the top here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that just looks like it's flashing a bunch of different colors and going crazy, but it's not. It's 13.4 volts, and it uh, does have all the green lit up all the way, telling you that it's a fully charged battery. There's the cigarette plug and the two Anderson connectors right there. So can't wait to get it on the water, but I mean, it'll be great for camping, for charging up uh, devices, um, I can even hook up a little solar panel panel to this to keep the battery uh, on a trickle charge if I wanted. But it is lightweight, sturdy, holds the battery nice. I could put some like foam or something around the sides to keep it from moving around a little bit more shockproof. But um, I really like it, and it's uh, much much more affordable than the other name brand ones that I've seen on the market. Those things um, significantly more in cost. And I've seen them in the stores and this thing appears to be built just as well. Uh, and it's much more affordable. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.